number, give me a number. Don't keep it such a big secret. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? No. Okay, Julia. Yeah. <coughs> Can I have the other? Uh, yeah, just a second. Me first. I got to measure for Dave because he gets so Me grumpy. First. Okay, Dave, you ready? I'm ready. 113 and one... Qu 113 and 5 sixteenths. He's really particular. Yes. My tape doesn't go any finer than uh, quarters. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dad, yeah. Just breaking this thing. Just breaking everything. Hey, show me your fancy tools. Well... Right here you've got the pectorals, <laughs> here are the biceps. Under here is like a, just like a big bulbous six pack. Awesome. And how about this one right here? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this thing, this is the cool thing about battery powered stuff. This is solar powered. Because we charge this with solar power. This is a solar powered nailer. Awesome. Did you know that? Like they don't advertise it as solar powered, but it is. Show me how it works. You take your rough sawn lumber and just, just wait. Like that, wait, wait, wait. You drive it all together. See? It's pretty just slick. Like is this also a solar powered one? <laughs> it is, but I'm also uh, I'm a big part of powering it. <laughs> Nice. Just like hot knife through butter. Hot Dave <laughs> with hot knife through butter. <laughs> These two are ready to go. Okay. It really Look is at like this a beautiful view, hey? So Rose, this is the goat view. Yeah. This is very exciting. This cabin is for students. And look at this, they got horses over there and goats over there and then they got goats in here. It's kind of like a little cabin in the forest. It's like, even going to have... It's not kind of, it's like, it's totally... Yeah, I guess it is like actually in the forest. And get this, it's going to have an amazing wood stove. This thing is going to be just like toasty warm. But can you guess what kind of wood stove it's going to be? Yeah, no one's ever going to see that. Sorry, what was that? No one's ever gonna see it. <laughs> Quickly, let's get this wall up. <laughs> Look at these things. Have you seen the girls milling this stuff? No, I need to go okay, check you it out. Check it out because they have such a, like a huge, delicious stack of freshly milled wood. Hello, ladies. Hi. Tell me what's going on here. Last look. Really? These will be some beauty pieces of firewood for the cook stove later, hey? Awesome. Come look at your gear. She must have been being naughty. No, she's sulking. Why is she sulking? She's tied up. Oh, she's tied up with baling twine. <laughs> look at these. Those look great. Look at these, eh? So there's very little waste, eh? Hey? What? Very little waste. Because what happens in here? We can find a use for that. Yeah. <laughs>
Seems to be a lot of standing around. Well, we're all waiting for Dave. And Dave, turns out he wasn't higher at the speed. Parcel out the measurements, so. 105, 104 and 5.8. 5.8? Five what? That's a big jump. Are you kidding me? It goes out 2.8. That's, that's outlandish. Remeasure, remeasure. Re I don't believe it. Hold on, let's read. <laughs> this is a 104 and 5 8. Mm. Isn't that exactly what she said? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, just double check. I, you know what the problem she is? Trust this me. wood she is way out of tolerance. Did you talk to those girls at the mill? I did. Dad, because I'm a stern dead. talking to. Good, because I think they've been distracted. They're singing country songs over there while they're milling or something. There you go. Hold on. Yeah. Good. Now we got to move the whole wall down. We're going to pull it out and then just going to pull it out six inches so that we can nail the top. the front. Yeah. Just I'll go right here. One, two. Here, put these in for The light view. Oh man, <laughs> this is pretty exciting. Yeah, I mean, it's always fun. I'm very excited for this all. Okay, is someone brooming? Julia's brooming. Yeah. Someone can stand in that doorway. The other people are gonna have to stand in the holes, and then two people can stand on the sides. I'm gonna need help to push this in. Push not pull. It doesn't move. <laughs> Okay, are we pulling? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. Okay. Julia! That's good. good grief. Okay, girls, here. let's go. You want me to show you how to stand in here? Yep. Yeah, you do it, Dad. One, two, three, up. Oh! This second, I'm in the hole. <laughs> Rose, is it falling off? No, you're good. Are you sure? No, good. but you're pretty good. You good. Yeah, I'm looking. Can you see it? Dave says it's good. Perfect. Is it close to falling off? No. Really good here. Okay, hold Looks it right great. There, girls. Keep it in. Yeah, let's do it. Oops. Come on. <laughs> Come on now, one more, one more. Those, those nails aren't really holding anything, Gross. right? So don't yeah. uh, don't trust them. All gotta be letting. All gotta be still holding. holding. Good words, Dave. Good words. Hold hey, you on. Hold that in. Just hold on. Got it. Okay, this will actually be the thing here. We need the big level girls? Who's gonna get up there to nail? <laughs> I'm gonna have to jump. Jump and nail. <laughs> jump and nail at the same time. Tall Dave. Grab this thing. <laughs> Where's the level girls? Christina's got it right behind you. You got that thing? Yeah. Here, the level. Out, 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 out. You gotta pull that board down, Dave. And just a second. Go for it. Oh, Dave never did get training on this gun. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's in the air. But is that's there one in there at least? There's yeah. two in there. The last one just missed. Oh. Okay, this side over here. Good job, Dave. Good job. <laughs> okay. Let's, uh, can we, can we nail the top. up here first and then? Uh, what? It's just easier. What? Yeah, I don't find that easier. I didn't. <laughs> Hey. Uh, how are we for level? Are we close at least? No. Yep. Yeah. 
I feel like that's kind of what it's like doing dental work on yourself. <laughs> Just like, ah, in there somewhere. Hey, you haven't done the bottom yet. Do the bottom. Well, yeah, I know. That's the point. Oh, I see. Okay, it's got to go out. Oop. Whoa! <laughs> that must have been Julia pushing there. How much? Bring it back just a hair. Right there. Really nice. Really Look at nice. that thing! Woo! That is awesome! Terrifying, you mean? Wow! <laughs> Look at this thing! Well, quite a change from yesterday. Hey. Yeah. Looks great. Huh. Pretty good for day two, hey? Eh? Yeah. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, it is. We were up here working, and then like this little herd of goats came in and had a drink by the water. Really? I like I was in those, one of those watering holes in Africa. <laughs> and all the antelope and warthogs come in. Right? Yeah, it was like wild America with Marty Stouffer. Nice. Yeah. So what are you doing right now? Um, I'm sorting through a dale weed container of assorted staples because we're trying to staple on some tar paper so that we can go to bed. Well, why don't you just get the hammer tacker? Because it doesn't have staples. Really? Yeah. So Dave has like this, <laughs> it's kind of like reminiscent of grandma with her like little bin like this. A little, oh, I've got a little bin of staples there somewhere. Got a couple staples in it. <laughs> so we're just sorting through it, trying to find some that fit. Here it is. Front door. Soon to be bathroom and shower. Bunk bed one. Bunk bed two. <laughs> Wood stove with a view. Awesome. Well, we did it. Yeah. We built the cabins. <laughs> Before we look at the cabins, because they're done, um, I want to show you what the girls are up to. making a uh, belt I guess I could have figured that out eh I sure do like those Christmas cookies sugar it is not Christmas time yet <laughs> are you out here with the puppies yeah. what do you got Another of Kezia's famous coffee scoops. Another cherry? Yep. Oh man, I love this cherry wood. I can't wait, I love it when you dig out the, <laughs> the scoop part. Yep. It's gonna be beautiful. Hey, you know what we need? We need more cherry wood, don't we? Yeah. We do. So what are we asking? If anyone out there is cutting down a cherry tree, if you're in BC, anyways, let us know. Okay. Because we need more cherry wood. Carve away. That thing. You're looking here. Look at the. Yeah, I love that. That little knot. That is beautiful. 
Is this your favorite one to make? One of them. One of them? What else? Spatulas. You like the spatulas? Yeah. That's just amazing. How long does it take you to make one of these? Um, five hours or four hours, maybe. Wow. Just like peeling the wood and then carving it and then scraping it and sanding it and oiling it. Awesome. What about this stuff? Wow. I just love this stuff, Julia. What sounds this one? This one's for a 4570. Ooh. That's that. Mm hmm This is the holster for the 357. Or? Or? Or what, oh, what other mil. guns? Nine mil. Or nine mil. In fact, yeah, there's quite a few guns can probably fit in there, but we've tested them with a, a couple of them. I have a different holster for the nine mil, though. Okay. It's a different style. But it looks similar. No. It's kind it looks like a holster. Yeah. Yeah, okay. And this is the wallet. Nice. I love it. It's that's for the simple the simple man. <laughs> yep. Right? Yes. Couple credit cards and some cash. Yep. Maybe a driver's license. This is my new favorite. This is the leather bound journal. Whatever you put in here will be protected forever. Forever. It's so thick and heavy and strong. Hmm. Huh. Nice. Okay, so that's your offering. Mm -hmm. How about you, Kezzy? I just got a coffee scoop. This is how most people start their day. <laughs> it's with the coffee scoop. So this is one tablespoon. Yeah. It's It's been calibrated, right? Yeah. Very nice. And you see the... You see that guy? That is the keychain. Now this is if you just love what we're doing, if you want to support what we're doing, and you just don't really need anything, then you can buy one of these things. So this is like a thank you, and there's a thank you note. And we have toques. Yeah, it kind of looks like the edge. Hey, do you guys remember you too? They're merino wool, made in Canada. Anyways, whether it's a toque, or the keychain, or some of the girls' other stuff, you should order all this stuff before it gets too late because Christmas is coming. The girls are going to be working hard. Thank you. Get back to the cabin. Lakeview cabin. There it is. We're all done. Give us a tour, Rose. First of all, who made the door? Dave made the door. From Silver Tree Woodworking? Yes. That Dave? That Dave. He's so famous. We just got finished. So. We are going to build some permanent little beds here, but this, we'll come back to it, but this is the shining glory of this cabin. It's a Blaze King. That's what makes this cabin so awesome. This thing's got like a hundred thousand BTUs per hour. I actually don't know if that's true. It's a lot. Maybe that's not even a lot. Maybe it should be a million. I'm not sure. A million? <laughs> It's a lot of heat is the point because we built this cabin. It's like a wall tent. It's not insulated. It's just plywood walls, but it's got amazing windows. That is like greenhouse stuff. It's not glass, but glass, glass, glass. So we get lots of sun. We get lots of good view of the lake. It's like a 10 foot ceiling up there so we can see the sky. I love it. It's pretty beautiful in here at night and the moon shines across and stars. Yeah, you feel like you're sleeping under the stars. You do actually. And you mostly are. You have just this tiny little roof above you. But yet... But mostly the the sky is right there. But, but yet you're warm. Yeah, it's warm. It's like a wall tent where the heat cranks out of that thing. You get nice and warm, but the heat doesn't last forever, which no. is why we got a Blaze King, because Blaze Kings burn forever. Yeah. But like once it goes out, the heat's gone. Yeah. And we stop heating it. But it heats through the night, which is really nice. That's what's important. And in here, this is the most advanced bathroom on the property. We have, show them. We have a composting toilet. Composting toilet. The little mini style. Yes. So that you can use that for a few days and then carry it out. Right? Yeah. A sink. A sink. But it doesn't work. It 
does actually work. All we gotta do is we got it all wired up. We put a little battery there and the jug of water. And then the sink works. You can, like turn on the water. You can turn on the water. I guess we should have done this to her when there was water. But right, brush your teeth. Can you guys just help me imagine, like, <laughs> water? Oh wait. And it's a shower. <laughs> it's a shower. It actually works. It's a heat on demand propane shower. This thing was just working, but we just kind of decommissioned it because it's allowed to freeze. The beauty of this little cabin is when we're not using it, it can just freeze up. Yeah. All we had to do was carry the jug of water in. All this other stuff is made to drain. Look. I built this thing. This thing just drains all the water so that no... See, it goes out. Boom, you can have a shower. Hot shower on demand. And look at the sun! And when it's like really hot in here... Yeah. Oh man, it's really hot. Yeah. Look, we just open up the window. Yeah. And latch it. Dave fresh, built our window too. Air. Yeah. And then when it's cold, just close it. I think most people know how opening windows work. I know, but this one is so cool. <laughs> it's pretty low tech and I do like low tech. You know what we should do? What's that? We should show people the Blaze King when it's on fire. When it's on fire? Yeah, like we should just, just a second, here we go. We are going to light the fire. There it is. Blaze King in action. Hey? Yeah. Looks mesmerizing. I know. Could just stare at that thing all night. Yep. Yeah, this is awesome. This is the other cabin. We made two cabins. I don't know. Did we tell you guys? I don't remember actually. Did we tell you that we made two of these? It's because they're for students who are coming to learn with Discovery Project. These are little student tiny cabins. Anyways, we got two of them. This one is the goat view. Oh, there they are. Can you see the goats over there? <laughs> some goats. I don't know if I can focus on them. It's not the best goat. There's view. the goats. Well, they're hiding right now. And there's the horses. Well, horse, it's the equestrian view. Aren't these cute? I like them. I think we should move in. Okay. Really? No. <laughs> but they are cute, right? <laughs> they are really we cute. We could live in these. If we didn't have a whole pile of children, well, we could totally live in here. You could live in here for a couple of nights. It'd be pretty fun. No, but I mean, we could outfit this for a house. And oh, you it. could, yeah. Like this is what I envision. So we've got a heater, which is totally sufficient. We can cook on there, even though we're not allowed to. You're not supposed to cook on the Blaze King. But here's the thing, we got this little cot right here right now, but I envision a little Murphy bed on the wall and it comes down, right? So, you, so just at nighttime. But then in this corner, you have your kitchen, just a big L corner. Kitchen, so you got lots of countertop, and I would just use like, I mean, you could put a sink and a little drain through there, it's no problem. And then you got cabinets up top, and here, you could do a Murphy bed, or the other thought is you could actually do a loft, because this is quite a high ceiling. Yeah. This is a nine foot to 10 foot ceiling, so you could easily put like a little loft at, at the six foot mark, say, and then have a bed up there. And then you'd have this space. You could have a couch and some chairs. Yeah. You could live in this thing. It's 10 by 16. Yep. So it's very compact. But look at this. This is just what I love. You can just sit here and you can just look out. You'd look up in the, at the stars, at the moon, or just at the Blaze King. Look at that. That is quite the picture. Hey. Mm hmm Do you see my new hat? No. See the new hat? Oh, nice. That's our new hats. Yep. yep. We are fully stocked. We are fully new stocked with new hats. Yep. So there you go. And toques and beanies are on their way. Okay. So there you have it. We got the tiny cabin, 
with the tiny wood stove. Now, speaking of Blaze King, there's only one thing that could really make this better, right? Me and Rose and Hot Dave. <laughs> if you like Blaze King, or if you like us, or if you like Hot Dave, or if you like Normal Dave, <laughs> go to Blaze King's website. No, not the website. Go to their YouTube, YouTube page and leave a comment in there. Or go to their Instagram and do the same thing. Because we would love to, I don't know, work with Blaze King, but they might need some encouraging at this point. <laughs> But I can't think of a better spokesman for Blaze King than Hot Dave and maybe Hot Rose. <laughs> and if I get to join, that'd be cool. This is Jeff and Hot Dave get counseling. This is, this is not necessary. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I too hot? Uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Dr. Prober. Welcome to my orifice. Let's get to the bottom of things. Okay. Ever since Jeff got the Blaze King, I have felt very unappreciated. We just don't really need a hot Dave anymore. And frankly, he's a bit of a... Pain in the butt? Like a heat rash. I can't seem to do anything right. He's so anal? Does it sting? Okay, he just burns all the time. It burns? Okay, I'm sending you both for colonoscopies. Uh... Yes! So, you guys went to a proctologist for counseling? 